Hello, Geminis. So today I'm going to be looking into your situation, what your person is thinking, feeling, um, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so, just whatever story the cards want to tell. I know for this energy group of Geminis, I've been getting that you have a potential life partner coming in and you also have a toxic ex around that you're sort of moving on from now. You know, I've been getting consistently over the last few months that your energy is very enchanting. You're just in this empress, high priestess sort of energy, or you're coming into it now at least, and you have multiple partners to choose from. You know, people are really noticing you. You have a lot of secret admirers. You have a lot of people that are stalking your social media that are, you know, maybe some people that want to talk to you, but they're afraid of rejection. That energy keeps coming up as well. So let's just see what story the cards want to tell here. Let's see what's going on with you guys now. Last reading I did, I got that there was a life partner finally coming in for you because you're manifesting love. All those seeds you planted for love over the months or years, they're all finally sprouting at once. You know, all your intentions, whether you're using a vision board or just putting the intention or doing witchcraft, whatever it might be, just that energy you've been, you've, you know, you're, you're just in this energy where you're just a magnet for love, where you're just very attractive, very seductive right now. You have people that are just watching you and really noticing you right now. So can we get a couple cards to just clarify the general energy of this reading? And then we'll put a pull some more after that too. Let's get two cards. Actually, let's get three. Let's get three cards. I just got this deck. I love them. They're so cute. Look at them. Look how cute. Okay. Just pull from there. That works. Outsider. Misfit. Loner. Wanderer. So I think that's an energy that you've been in that you're kind of coming out of now. Redemption, absolution, forgiveness, penance. So yeah, you've gone through this very transformative phase, it looks like here. Oop, we'll put these right here. Outsider, redemption, absolution, forgiveness, and penance. Eternal youth, energy, newness, vitality. Oops, sorry, I'm going to fix that really quick. I think it's just a quick message from your guide saying that, you know, this energy, this energy that you're in, this this new love that's coming in, it's it's well earned. You know, you you went through a period of isolation, of loneliness, heartbreak. You know, you you really isolated to find yourself again. You've done a lot of inner work, and you're finally starting to reap the benefits of that inner work that you've been doing over the months or years. You might have had to go back and forgive some situation or maybe there was just some situation that you need to closure with or some kind of situation that just called for you to be introspective, to dig deep, to find the answers and to release something. And, you know, you have eternal youth at the end of that, which is where you're at now or where you're at the very least coming into. This is new love. This is new energy. This is this high priestess energy that you're in. So let me see what the love story is here. What do we have to say about love? What is there to say about love? Okay, so please, cards, be clear and direct. What is the story regarding love? What is the story regarding love? What do we need to know about love here? Please be very clear, very direct. What is your person thinking, feeling, wanting? A lot of you, like I said, I might be picking up more than one energy with this reading because I've been getting for a while. You guys have secret admirers. You do have one person that's kind of watching you, but they're not sure if you would give them a second chance or maybe they're just like a friend and they're not sure if you would feel the same way as them. So they're kind of playing it cool, but they are noticing you. I don't know if that's come through for you guys or not yet. I don't know if they've confessed their feelings or not. But you also have, you know, the toxic ex. You also have a um, potential life partner coming in. So you have a lot of options here. You really do have a lot of options coming in. So let's see what's going on. Okay, cards, please be clear and direct. 
Soulmate, past life, soul contract, past life connection, soul contract, clubs, parties, social life, nostalgia and longing, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, happiness, warmth and light, pause, reflection and rest. Can I get some clarification on the pause, reflection, rest card? Can we get two more cards to clarify this later energy here? Two more cards. Spying and third-party distraction. Okay. I'm going to put those right down here for a second. So I think you've been longing for someone, and deep down you kind of know that it's toxic. This person is probably someone you have a soul contract with. Um, could be a pattern that you're repeating in your relationships. There's just some kind of past life connection here, some kind of karma that you guys are resolving right now. Um, I think you're also longing for like your social life. Maybe you miss going out, miss having fun. I also see it as the, pente the potential that this is somebody who parties a lot, who does drugs, who drinks. Um, kind of like a social butterfly type. And there, it's just like a karmic kind of connection. It's like a pattern you're repeating with this person. And with nostalgia and longing, it's like you're longing for this energy. But it could, is it love or is it a soul contract that you've been repeating? That's the question you got to stop and, and be introspective and ask yourself. I do see someone else that's either just come in or they're about to come in and they're just going to, this new energy is just going to blow you away. It's going to be so unexpected because I think maybe you've been trying to manifest this other person back or maybe you finally are starting to let go of this person that was toxic, but you're still, you, you can't, maybe, maybe you can't fathom just how quickly you could be in a committed relationship. You know what I mean? Maybe you're waiting for someone to come back around or you're kind of healing right now, just letting go of someone trying to just ground yourself and figure things out. And this person is just going to come in so quickly and you're not going to see it coming, but they're going to sweep you off your feet is what I'm getting. And that's a collective energy I've been getting for a lot of the readings I've been doing. And especially for this group of Geminis, I mean, you've manifested this. You've been working on this. You've been manifesting this love. You've been praying to the universe for someone who's going to match your energy, someone who's going to love you the way that you want to be loved. And, you know, maybe you were even praying for your, your toxic ex to return. And maybe even that energy is manifesting someone new because you're like, you're, you know, you're putting the intention in the universe. You're like, I want love. I want someone here. And the universe like is like, okay, it's not going to be this person you thought it was going to be, but it's going to be someone a million times better than what you could have ever imagined. I get the sense here just channeling that this card, Pause, Reflection, Rest, actually has two separate meanings for you guys. So for one, I think that you're going to realize that your happiness and this, this warmth and light isn't with the person you thought it was going to be with. And so it's like you're kind of pausing, you're kind of stepping back, and you're going to be caught off guard by this new connection. You're going to be like, whoa, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect to be... I was just kind of doing my thing or I was just thinking about my ex. I didn't expect this new person out of nowhere. Um, and it is going to catch you off guard, but you're going to, you're going to kind of pause and reflect and be like, you know what? My happiness actually isn't with this toxic person. It might be with somebody completely unfamiliar and you're going to want to go down that path and experience something that you've never really had before completely. Now, you know, you're, it's going to be, you're breaking a pattern right now. Um, with toxic people. And I think the next person you manifest isn't going to be your usual type. This is going to be someone that you meet. Um, you might even be taking it slow with them, like really taking it slow and getting to know each other. It's like sometimes if you have a certain pattern with people, sometimes you can't, like if, you, if you're repeating a subconscious pattern, sometimes you can't trust people that you're attracted to right away. You know, like through body language, you have to kind of watch out for those patterns. But this, what you're going to be experiencing with this other person is going to be like soul recognition. Like it's not going to be about body language or subconscious patterns. It's going to be like your soul will just feel at home with them. Your soul will kind of recognize them. It'll really catch you off guard. The, the circumstances of your meeting might really catch you off guard as well. Um, like I feel like it's going to be really sudden. I don't think it's going to be something that you planned out. 
And, you know, they, they might not be your usual type right at first. It might be very unfamiliar to you. You might almost question it, like wonder if it's too good to be true. There might be some desire to self-sabotage there just because you're not used to that energy. Um, you're going to be like, okay, this man wants to like, this man or this woman wants to take me to dinner and wants to, you know, do all these things with me. What's the catch? What's going on here with that? What's up? <laughs> like you're going to question it. You're going to kind of doubt it at first. And it's going to take some work on both ends to, to for you guys to push past that fear and work through it together. But I think that soul connection is going to grow. And I think that that depth, that soul, that soulmate kind of connection that you guys have. Um, I think this is probably a potential life partner too, possibly. But I, I, I feel like that soul connection is going to grow as you get to know each other. Like you guys might start hanging out and it's maybe unfamiliar for one or both of you at first, but... You're going to kind of be developing this friendship where it's like, it's not going to be lust. It's not going to be like it's been with relationships in the past. It's like, you're going to really fall in love with this person on a deeper level. Like the things that they say and do are just going to resonate with you on a soul level and vice versa. And, and so, yeah, you guys are going to be kind of taking it slow and just really getting to know each other and developing like a natural, pure connection based on, you know, personality you know, I think you've had like a pattern of in the past of like lust. And so this you're kind of breaking that pattern too, where it's like this person is going to be just not your usual type is what I get. And, you know, you're going to see that that happiness and warmth and light is with this person. It's with somebody that's not what you ever expected, but you're going to be really grateful once it comes in. Or it might have already come in for some of you. You could have just met this person because this energy feels very close to me. Um, I would, my advice would be, you know, Expect the unexpected. Also keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. If you get invited to like, I mean, coronavirus is going on. So I don't want to say like, oh yeah, go out and party. But I mean, like if you get invited somewhere or like if there's just be cautious, of course, like be cautious, wear your mask, you know, be, be careful, be safe. But I mean, if you get like invited somewhere or like you just have this urge to go to a certain location at a certain time, that could be divine intervention trying to lead you to this person. Could be some synchronicity there. You know, watch for it. Synchronicity is strong for you guys right now for this group. So really watch for the signs and synchronicity that are leading you guys together. And I think that you're going to be able to rest with this person. I think in the past, you've kind of had to take care of a lot of things on your own in relationships. And you've always had to worry about the other person other person or other people around you kind of like a motherly type energy and with this person you're going to be able to just like rest and just be in like this very vulnerable feminine energy because they're going to be assertive and they're going to be taking care of things and so you're not going to have to worry about everything and you know plan everything out like they're going to be making the plans themselves they're going to be hitting you up saying hey you want to go hang out you want to go do this you want to go do that you're not going to be the one that's having to exert all the effort like you have in your past relationships Your karmic partner that you've been trying to manifest and waiting on the toxic karmic is going to be spying and coming back around because they're going to notice this third party distraction that you now have. They're going to start feeling that your energy is no longer with them, that you really have moved on, that you're not just threatening to move on, but you really genuinely have let them go. And so they might be coming back around. But when they come back around, I don't think you're even going to want it anymore. I think you're just going to be over it, to be honest. I really think you're just going to be over it at that point. I'll pull a few more cards really quick just to see if there's anything else they want to say about this connection. But like I said, you know, synchronicity is strong right now. If you if you have the urge to go somewhere that you normally never go or to take another route or to travel somewhere or you just you just feel this calling, like you just feel like, you know, someone someone invites you to an event or they just invite you somewhere, like just the universe is trying to line everything up to manifest this connection for you. So get in tune with that energy of like universal flow and just universal love like get in tune with that energy so that you're so that you get on that boat when it comes you know any final things we have to say about this connection anything we need to know okay. these cards are so hard to shuffle but they're so cute <laughs> i'm gonna take that one Seven actually, okay. All right. Ancient ancestry, Egypt, magical inheritance. 
reason, listen to advice, think clearly, intellect. Uh, thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession, call for help, reach out, admit your needs, um, need for backup, primal, connecting deep within sacred dance instinct, nightmare, psychic protection, shield, bad dreams, immortal, the consuming family, pressure of peers. So honestly, the energy I get from this is more that this is just like an ancient sacred connection. Like, look at this. This is like possibly if you have ties to ancient Egypt, this could be an Egyptian past life with you too, because this is like magical inheritance. It's like you could be a witch and they could also be a witch, or they could just be like, you guys are both spiritual. You guys could be both be psychic. You guys could both be drawn to the occult, to the unknown. Like, I think this this person is going to match your energy more than people in the past have. It's like all those things that other people were intimidated about you by, like, this person is going to be, at the very least, turned on by them. Like, they're, if you're, like, a witch or you're a psychic or you're just into the occult or you're, like... Um, just like alternative um, style or alternative lifestyle al or alternative aesthetic, this person is going to be turned on by that. They're going to love that about you. They're going to love and appreciate your uniqueness. All the things that like p other people just didn't understand about you or that intimidated them, like this person is going to love those things about you. And the energy I get from this spread is just like a very ancient connection because we've got immortal here too. You know, an immortal, I, I see it as just like, like this is like an old, like two old souls coming together. So they're going to really support you in whatever you do in your life. Like whoever you are, they're going to be, they're going to, they're going to blow you away. They're really going to be different than what you've experienced in the past. Reason, you know, listen to advice, listen to the synchronicity to your guides, trying to bring this connection into union. Like follow that, you know what I mean? Follow your intuition, follow your heart and break free of the subconscious patterns and the addiction to toxic exes and toxic energy. Break free from that energy and go on this new path um, and follow your intuition and your heart. You know, thirst, we've got like obsessions, like compulsion. This to me is like fear too, anxieties. And these are probably going to come up because you're not going to be used to this kind of connection. And it's saying call for help here. It's kind of saying like, Talk to your friends, talk to even a counselor possibly for some of you, but like admit your needs, be honest about your needs, but it's like a call for balance I, I feel here because you don't want to sabotage this connection when it comes in because it's going to be so unfamiliar that it might scare you a little bit. And so it's like saying like, hey, find healthy outlets for the fear, for the obsessions, for the anxieties, like don't put that all on this new person, you know what I mean? Like like try to talk to your friends about it or try to pursue your hobbies or put all that energy into something else so that you have a good balance in this relationship because you guys are probably going to be, they're going to be coming in really quickly, but I think that you guys are still going to be taking things slow and getting to know each other. And so it's like saying, hey, don't freak out and run and don't freak out and do the, do the opposite thing and cling to them. You know what I mean? Because you're not used to this connection. Like try to find a healthy middle ground and let this connection develop naturally when it comes in and you know primal connecting deep with with this sacred dance so yeah very like shamanic egyptian kind of just ancient connection here you guys have had a lot of past lives together um psychic protection here they're also going to be very protective of you is what i feel here they're going to be um if you have nightmares or if you have just like anxieties or like mental disorders, they're going to be very empathetic and very understanding of those things. And they're going to want to have open conversations about them. Like they are going to be supportive of, the, of that. But again, just find a balance. Like don't pour it all on them. But like be they do want an open, honest relationship. Like they do want a healthy, open, honest relationship. So you can be honest about with the things that you've gone through, but just find a healthy balance. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, just a very ancient connection. They're going to be very protective of you. And I, it's, it's come in already or it's about to come in for you guys. So congratulations on that. This was a good reading. If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe to me. I do these readings pretty frequently. Um, and if you would like a private reading, I can look more in depth into your situation, look more into the ex, look more into this new person that's coming in, get more on their personality for each, for your individual situation. Um, yeah, my, my information is below. So thanks for watching.